Story, story guy. I need Kayla, I need Charlie, I need Tyler, and Ryan. Hello. So, this game, we're going to be telling a story. I'm going to get a suggestion for what the story is. And the four of these people will be telling it like they're one person. I'll let someone start, and at any point, I can call anyone's name. The person telling the story has to stop right away. And the next person picks up where they left off. If they say more than three words in a row of the same thing the last person just said, they die. If I call uh, their own name and they step back, they die. If I call someone who's not in the game and they step back, they die. If you step forward and it's not your name, you die. The point is to get these people to die. So, please, can I get a suggestion for an emotion? Gumption. <laughs> jealousy. I'll take jealousy and an object in your house. Lamp. 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 All right. Our story is about a jealous lamp. Oh boy. I'll have Ryan start. Oh boy. <clears throat> Once upon a time, in a land far, far, far away, was a little boy named Lamp. Lamp grew up like many of the other boys did on this street. Spent his days frolicking with the school halls and visiting the local Chuck E. Cheeses. Until one day he grew jealous of the local rich boys who lived uptown. They kept making fun of him, saying that his accent was something out of something out of story. Well, our little hero didn't take that too kindly. Charlie. And the boy from the great north spoke with thunderous applause. That's kind of messed up to make fun of my voice. I am just a boy made of lamp. That's very rude. You, your mom should tell you how to talk to people. Because again, that's very rude. Tyler. And these boys who were talked down upon by this lamp boy were awestruck by his thunderous voice. They were like, please, lamp boy, we seek recompense for our transgressions. Let us follow you. Let us join you in your journey of whatever you're doing. We don't know. And Lamp was like, you know what? I do have something that you all can do for me. I need you each to bring me the 25,000 dandelion heads. Sayla, for my grand scheme and for the prophecy, but in order to fulfill the prophecy, we must first know the prophecy. The prophecy was that I would be well-lit and well-respected for my great ideas and for my thundering voice. But the thundering voice only gets you so far. Charlie. I need the daddy lion head so I can mark up my parents' walls. <laughs> because they're yellow and they have like yellow dye. That's how the people in the olden day made paint, was with dandelions. And I am bringing the old ways back now. Right. And that's when Jeffrey Bezos stepped onto the scene because he wasn't about to let someone make a profit without him making a profit as well. And he said, listen, little lamp, you've got yourself a wonderful business idea, but you're, you're thinking too small. What we need to do is we need to take your paint and export it across the land. So they did. They drilled it in Amazon warehouses across the world. People were ordering the dandelion paint like nothing. Our young men. That was until one day when one of the other boys, one of the ones that followed Lamp, he grew jealous of Lamp's new wealth. So this little boy, his name was Stuart. Stuart was like, I need something to put Lamp back down for what he did. So he went to each Amazon warehouse and tore massive holes into the large paint containers. Ryan. So then after he tore holes into the paint containers, he began throwing the paint out onto the floor and getting it on the shelving yeah. units. Paint was everywhere, and there was nothing they could do to clean it up. Everything was yellow, just like his jealousy was blue. Now, <laughs> Charlie. Pablo Picasso was rolling in his grave at this point. He had never seen such waste of paint, but also like an artistic expression. <laughs> Pablo Picasso would not stand for this, so he came upon and possessed the greedy little boy. I was like, whoa! Charlie! I am now the French painter. You stop that now. This is my paint. I want to right. paint it. 
I want to make it into a beautiful creation that we will, we will use in order to be able to make people happy. And it'll also sort of be about like Cortica and also... And also, it will be about what I was originally, which was a little boy named Lamp. Little boy sound like a lamp. Right. And so that painting came into creation. And it was the most beautiful painting that had yeah. ever been... That had ever been painted before, but upon this... There was Bezos. Sorry. Pablo Picasso stabbed Jeffrey Bezos with a paintbrush <laughs> and went back to bed for his crimes. But nothing would stop Jeffrey Bezos from <laughs> Oh, um, stop there. Okay, how does Sayla die? Pablo Picasso made it. Pablo Picasso killed Sayla. What? No! <laughs> But Jeffrey Bezos had so much money, he kind of just kind of stopped giving a crap and left. He had other things to do. He had a wife to divorce, and she'd take half his money. Hey. Oh. 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 How does Charlie die? Doors. <laughs> Doors. <laughs> Doors. Please. <laughs> With Bezos out of the picture, Lamp was like, but my creations, I just wanted to put paint on the walls. I don't want them to look like some sort of vague expressionism that I don't understand. What could my booming voice possibly do with this information? Right. And that's when he discovered the magic of animation. He then went on. He then hired an animation studio, but he wasn't going to go through Disney. He was already done with one billionaire prospect looming over his head. He was going independent, baby. <laughs> and with that, he well, he went to art school at Hi. Caltech. And he really, honestly, really tried his best in the studies and everything. He wasn't like great or anything, you know. Like studio classes are kind of hard. Anyone that's been an art major will agree to that. But like in the all, I think he got a pass about a C grade, which was pretty nice and pretty well done. But you know, he made this little sh short film, and it just didn't work out really well. He wasn't really getting the uh, the boost. Charlie. <laughs> oh, how does Tyler die? Oh, just just watch out for my Achilles. Oh! <laughs> All right, Ryan, finish the story. And so, with his degree from Caltech, he went out into the world and created, I mean, arguably really subpar animation. But, like, considering it's one guy making it, it's really incredible. And his voice acting, top tier. Highly recommended. Studio Ghibli, got nothing on it. That's me.